Hi, Blair. Hi, Kate. Hi, everyone. It's good to see all of you, and I'm so excited to be back for another week, Blair. Yes, and we're going to do some fun stuff this week. Mm-hmm. I reckon. In fact, for the whole month. The whole month. Yeah. Well, do you happen to know what the plan is? Yes, I do. What we're going to talk about prayer. Yes, prayer. One of my most favorite things ever. And Blair. You know, I just feel like I've been learning a bit more lately about prayer. Oh, cool. Are, are you going to tell us all what it's about? Mm, yeah, I guess so. Like, I don't want to just keep that stuff to myself. True. I would love to tell everyone about it. And, yes. Well, maybe we should start by answering that first question of, well, what does prayer mean to you? What even is it? Well, you know, for me, it's, it's all about communicating with God because I can talk to God anywhere and anywhere any time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's really important to me because I get to communicate with him and talk to him and tell him how I feel and all those kinds of things. Yep, all of the things. Yeah. I think that is my favorite thing about prayer book. You said it, we can pray anywhere, anytime. Yep. And like always, like sometimes I can't always count on a person being there every single minute of the day, but the cool thing about God is that he is there with me every single moment of the day. That's so cool. And we can tell him anything. Yes. That's what I've been learning lately, Blurb. Not okay. just the stuff I need to ask from God, but I can celebrate things that he's done. Yes. I can thank him for the marvelous creations I can see around me. Yeah. I, like, just really anything and everything. And well, Blurb, you probably know I like to talk. Yeah, I know that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I just can't keep it in. So to be able to talk to God all the time, like it's the best thing ever. So great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what? I think Liv's got a, a, an activity for us to do mm -hmm. to help us remember to do that. Oh, that sounds like a good time because activities with Liv are so much fun. So let's go check it out. Okay. Hey everyone. Today we are going to be making a craft. Can you guess what we're going to be making? Well, we're learning all about prayer and how we can talk to God today. So, I thought we could make something that can help us pray this week. All right, so I've got some paddle pop sticks here, some colorful paddle pop sticks, and I'm going to write some things on there that can remind me to pray each day. And I have this fun cup here that has been painted red that I'm going to put them in so that I can sit it next to my bed and so that I can remember each day when I wake up and each day when I before I go to bed, I can pray. So maybe you'd like to run and grab a cup yourself or a jar or something that you could put your powder pop sticks in to remind you to pray. But first, we're going to decorate. So I've got some fun things here that are gonna help me decorate. Let's go. All right, I think I've done a pretty good job of decorating my prayer cup. So, oh, and I've got a bit of paint on my hands, so make sure your paint's dry before you start decorating. But I'm gonna take my texter now, and I'm going to write a few things on my powder pop sticks. So on the red one, I'm gonna write, thank God, for three things. Because I always want to be on the lookout for things that I can thank God for. So I'm going to pop that one in my prayer cup. On this one, I'm going to write, pray for one of my school friends. So that I can remember pray for one of my friends at school or at kinder. 
On this one, I'm going to draw a picture of my family. So I'm going to draw two little people there. There's my mum and my brother and my sister and my dad. There we go. So that I can remember to pray for someone in my family. On this one, I'm going to write that I can pray for God to help me with something. So that can remind me if there's anything that I need God's help with, I can always ask him. And for the last one, I'm going to, there we go, I'm going to write that God would help me remember to pray for those in need. So maybe it's someone I know that might need help, or maybe it's someone I don't know, but I can be reminded to pray for those people as well. So there are just five reminders that I've written there that maybe you'd like to write even more. And I can use this prayer cup to remind me to pray for those things. You know, we're going to go see Jacinta now, who's going to tell us more about how and why we pray. So let's go have a look. Hey everyone, so I am doing the Bible story today and we are talking about prayer, which is super exciting. But I thought before we talk about the how and all that kind of stuff, let's talk about the why. So why exactly do we pray? So we pray because we depend on God which means that we can ask him for what we need and that he will help us out. So that is pretty much why we pray. And so we can stay in conversation with God so that we can keep talking to him. And you know, the more we pray, the closer we get to God. So that is pretty much the why. And so the other thing we wanna talk about is how. How do we actually go about praying? So how do we pray? So I'm gonna read Matthew 6, 6, which will tell us a little bit about it. So Matthew 6, 6 says, But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. So God is instructing us to pray in private. Now, obviously, when we're at church, we're in the kinder rooms or the primary room. Sometimes we do like to pray in group with these guys, which is so cool. But today, what I really want to focus on is how we actually pray in private and what that means. Awesome. So now that I've found a private place, we're going to talk today about the Lord's Prayer, which I have got on this sheet of paper here. And this is actually a format that we can use when we pray, or we can actually just pray this prayer. So I'm going to read it first and then we can unpack it a bit further. So it says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Matthew 6, 9 to 11. So there were a lot of big words and confusing things in this prayer. So I'm gonna quickly go through and unpack a few of those and explain a few of those so we can understand it a bit more. So our first big word was hallowed. So that basically means that God's name is holy, that his name is to be made holy. So basically just honouring his name and that his name is, yeah, holy. And then secondly, it talks about God's kingdom coming and his will be done on earth, which basically means that his goodness and faithfulness would be here and that his instructions or his commands would be fulfilled on the earth. Then it talks about giving us today our daily bread, which basically means, oh, let's flip our little thing, that God is going to give us everything we need. And most importantly, he's going to give us his presence and the Holy Spirit, which is something we can experience every day. Then it talks about our forgiveness of our debts 
and forgiving our debtors, which basically means that God forgives us for our sins and our mistakes because we all make mistakes and that we should also go and forgive those that have made a mistake that have hurt, has hurt us. And then lastly, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, which basically means that God would help us to not do the wrong thing and to not be tempted to do the wrong thing. So that's all those <laughs> big words and what that verse means. And then I wanna talk about three very key things in this passage that we can use when we pray. So the first thing is we wanna honor and thank God. And honoring just means that we're uh, giving thanks to him, we're praising him, we're just saying, God, you're such a good God and we thank you for that. And then the second thing is that he would give us what we need. So that's what he's talking about when he's talking about daily bread. So when we're praying, we want to ask God if we need anything. Maybe it's we need healing because someone we know is sick or maybe we're sick. Or maybe we need help being nice to a kid at school. Those sort of things, just anything we need. And then lastly, we want to ask God for forgiveness because every single one of us does the wrong thing sometimes. And so we need to come to God and say, God, I'm sorry, would you forgive me for that thing? And then ask him to help us forgive others. So they're the three key things that either we can use when we pray or we can just come and find this in Matthew 6 and pray it ourselves. So we're just gonna pray this prayer together to finish. So I want you guys to follow along as I'm reading. So, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. And all Discovery Kids said, Amen. Well, Blurb, it has been another extraordinary week learning so many things. It really has, yeah. And I love listening to Jacinta when she teaches us things about God. Yeah. It's really exciting. Yeah, and today we learned about prayer. Mm -hmm. And you know what I learned most? What did you learn, Blurb? That there are no restrictions. Anyone can pray doesn't matter what age you are or whether you're a boy or a girl or or, or, a, or a puppet. Yeah. Everyone can pray. All kinds of people can pray. And so that like when I'm 99 and, and a half, a half yeah. I can like, I'm almost on my 100th birthday. Can I, can I still pray? Yes. When I'm 100 years old. Yes. That is really exciting. It's going to be mm -hmm. great. You know what I learned today, Blurp? What did you learn, Kate? I learned that God asks us to pray in private. Because I love people and I love talking, I like to pray with people all the time. Yeah. And so like at dinner, when we say grace, I like to pray with people or in our small groups with my family. But God actually asked me to pray on my own. Wow, why, why do you think that is? Well, I just think it's a really special invitation. Yeah. I think, Blurp. He cares that much about me that he actually just wants personal, special time just with me. Just like when I get to hang out with one of my best friends, just the two of us. Yeah. We get to hang out and talk about anything and everything. God wants to do that with me as well. Wow. Mm. That's so, so cool. I can't wait to do more of that this week. Yeah, you should. And we all should. Mm -hmm. Yes. I reckon. And what else we can do this week? We can log on and see the activities the devotions that we can do this week as well to help us in our everyday faith. So we hope you guys have heaps of fun with that. And what, what do you think we'll see these guys next? Maybe next week? Next week? On I think Sunday? so. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you then. Bye everyone. Bye.